Hopefully I have time if I have to cut it off, you know why. Some of these are covers that will look familiar from the 12 inches, but some are different. This is a cut called Cruisin' from Jackie's Be The One album. Um, this I found in more recent years, the picture sleeve of Young Love. I had the 45 growing up, and like I said, I remember hearing it on the radio, and I loved it as a kid. I mean, what a perfect youthful song, you know. But anyway, um, let me try to keep these in order. Sorry, because I have to file these back after I finish doing this. Um, this is a UK 12 inch, I'm uh, sorry, 7 inch of Don't Mess Up This Good Thing, um, which I think Leon Silver's um, produced. And yeah, Foster, actually Foster Silver, sorry, and Jerry Weaver. And Glenn Scarpelli, the actor um, known for One Day at a Time, who's someone else I've interviewed, he did a version of that as well. And this is Janet's uh, Come Give Your Love to Me. Again, Foster Silver's. I'm sorry, I said Leon Silver's earlier because I kind of assume that sometimes with that Silver Spoon Productions family. Um, this is just a variation on it from another um, country. I don't know where this one was pressed offhand. Um, and then, let's see, that's Say You Do, a 7 inch. And then uh, Don't Stand Another Chance. And Fast Girls. Can't see that very well there. Um, the B side, though, I have to say is Love and My Best Friend, which is a ballad from the Janet Jackson album, and oh my gosh, what a moving song. Wow. Um, yeah, Bobby Watson, Renee and Angela produced that one, and Renee and Angela wrote it. I have to give you guys props. I mean, they wrote so many great songs, and that one is just so special. Uh, I, they really tapped into the youth of Janet and what a youth audience would listen to, but made them meaningful, I mean, for people myself that grew up then and are, you know, well into adulthood now, and, oh, gosh, okay, Two to the Power was a duet with Cliff Richard, Georgia Amoroto and Pete Bella, Bellate, sorry, produced that, um, and I should mention Fast Girls, another single from that that I talked about earlier was produced by Marlon Jackson, um, anyway, this was an overseas single, and I think she performed it on Fame with another male vocalist, and it's interesting because I remember Giorgio talking about working with Janet. He didn't think she was a great vocalist. But anyway, um, this is a Japan-only single called Start A New, which was done to tie in with a sort of commercial that she was doing for VCRs, I think, in Japan. And uh, very different than what came on the Control album, but it was a bonus cut, at least on some pressings of that album in Japan. And then this is just later a standard issue of Love Will Never Do Without You. And more recently, the limited 7-inch of No Sleep from the Unbreakable album, which was sold via her web store for a short time. Okay, getting into Jermaine, I might have to put this in two parts, but a few picture sleeves, uh, we can put it back together. Um, closest thing to Perfect from the Perfect soundtrack, and that is an enjoyable movie, in spite of how it got panned. Um, Do You Remember Me? A nice uh, kind of... I don't know if you say ballad or mid-tempo from the um, Precious Moments album called Words Into Action. And then this is just a variation of that one from another country. And then this one's very obscure, but it's from Peru. It's with an artist named Melissa, and it's called Confesiones, and it's sung in Espanol. Um, there's a picture sleeve 12-inch of it, but it goes for a lot of money. So um, Two Ships in the Night again. And then on to La Toya. This is a very nice picture, I think. Uh, this is a overseas seven inch of Nighttime Lover. And If You Feel the Funk from her debut album. It's uh, just a variation of that. Um, Stay the Night, which I talked about earlier, and I Don't Want You to Go. And Bet You're Gonna Need My Lovin'. Sorry about that glare. It comes through more on these 45s if I don't hold them at a certain angle. Heart Don't Lie. Hot Potato. Okay, this is from Japan. It's a, actually no, yeah it is, but this is Baby Sister, which is from the Imagination album. There's a clip on YouTube, I believe, of her singing it with Janet on the background. And then He's a Pretender. And uh, as I was mentioning, CBS Associated, 7 Inch of Imagination. The other Japan-only one uh, release, not from any album, was Yes, I'm Ready. The song that I believe Barbara Mason made famous and with a guy named Jed, done as a duet. I don't know anything about him, really. Um, this track, Tell Me, She Means Nothing to You at All, was mistyped as he on all the uh, albums and whatnot, but I like that one more than um, Ain't Nobody Loves You, as far as the Stock Aiken Waterman uh, tunes go. And then this is the U.S. 7-inch of You're Gonna Get Rocked. 
and oversees one of another full force produced one called U Blue. Uh, the US 7 inch, ew, not clear of Such a Wicked Love. Uh, Why Don't You Want My Love, which we saw in 12 inch. Oh, and Sex Box, which I mentioned earlier. Okay, and here's the 7 inch of Marlin with Don't Go. Um, Randy Jackson had one solo single on Epic in the 70s. Um, I thought I had that, but I guess I don't. But anyway, in the late 80s, he formed a group called Randy and the Gypsies. This is really hard to make out on here, probably, but it's called Perpetrators. And um, this one is Love You, Honey, which I think was much more of a effective kind of tune for him. Here's Reby with Centipede and A Fork in the Road. And then Play Me I'm a Jukebox, which is actually written by Pam Tillis, who went on to, I think she already was a successful country artist at the time. I don't know what the history of that song is, but it's kind of interesting uh, that Reby records very electro, and Victor Flores did the single remix. But this is Reaction, uh, again with a picture sleeve. And the 45 of You Send the Rain Away with Robin Zander. And Plaything. And of uh, Are You Tough Enough? So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those, hearing about them. Um, I'm sure I missed some things. It's hard to kind of go through this number of things in a short time. But um, for all the Jackson fans, hope there was something that you either didn't know that you learned or that was just good to be reminded of. Because they've obviously done a wonderful output of work over the decades and um, I definitely suggest if you're not familiar uh, Jermaine's catalog he has so many albums and it um, unfortunately um, from what I hear he hasn't granted permission for a lot of them to be reissued and I know I was even asked to be part of a project uh, that was proposed uh, covering a lot of his material that ultimately was not approved for licensing um, so if you have a turntable though um, you can try to seek out some of those albums that I showed. Um, I think I covered most of them. And then, if you like poppy stuff, definitely a lot of LaToya's uh, catalog is very enjoyable. And I think Reby's, um, it might be not as consistent, um, but I think that she had a lot of quality songs, and vocally she has a, a tone that uh, is has a unique balance of vibrato and sort of... Uh, Mm, a little bit of jazzy nuance to it. So I like her uh, recordings a lot, and even her Yours Faithfully album from 1998, um, which only on CD, so I didn't show that one. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that because I'm sure I'm running way over at this point. But um, thanks, and I hope you're staying healthy, and um, hope to chat with you soon. Bye.